Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the Dijkstra algorithm, which is another single source shortest path algorithm, uh, like Bellman Ford. And well, the only limitation it has is that it does not work for negative edge cycles. So it does not give an accurate when when there are negative uh, negative weights in a graph. That time it does not give an accurate uh, shortest path. Anyway, well, let's get on with the simulation. Uh, firstly, we select like uh, like Bellman Ford. Firstly, we select one source edge, and then from there we just work our way through, and then we select the minimum at each relaxation. We relax here too, like Bellman Ford. So firstly, we initialize everything to infinity, uh, like so, and then when we select A as the source node, that time we relax, relax to all the other vertices from A. So from A, we go to B. So uh, A was zero at the beginning. Source is always zero at the beginning. So let's just write it down here. Okay, just change the color. Okay, so A was zero, uh, zero, and then from A to B, we go and the weight becomes 10. So we just write it down as 10. Um, 10, and the parent is A. We write the parent uh, at the bottom. Okay, and from A to C, the weight is 3, so put the infinity and the weight becomes 3. And well, there is no more path from A, so the others stay infinity like before. Now, from here, from all these four vertices that are already weighted, these two are infinity, and this is 3, and this is 10, and this is 3. So the minimum, we take the minimum edge from here. So the minimum edge from here is C. So we pick C. And then now C is the next source node. See, that's how we do. This is the difference uh, this time is that we select a source node each time after selecting a minimum. So C is the source node. And then from C, we then again relax. From C, we go to B and we can go to E and also D. So C is, so remember C is three, uh, this, this, the weight of C is three. So we have to add that to the uh, relaxed edges like before. So uh, three plus for, for, for C to B, it is three plus four, which is seven. And so since seven is lesser, so we update it to seven and eight. If it was greater than 10, then we wouldn't have updated it just like before in Bellman Ford. Okay, from C to B is 7, and from C to D is 8 plus 3, which is 8, 9, 10, 11. So from C to D is 11. Oh, oops, I have to update it to uh, update this to C. And then from C to E is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, so C to E is 5. And the parent is C. Okay, so C to B is done, C to D is done, C to E is done. And these, these were 3 and A, and well, there's no more infinity anymore. So this was already selected once, so we can't select it again. Uh, now we have to select the next minimum, which is 5. So the edge, uh, the, the node for that is E. Oops. E. Okay. From E, we start relaxing again. Uh, from E, the E, for E, the weight is 5. So 5 plus 9 is 14, but we won't update it to 14 because 11 is lesser, is uh, lower than 14. So it will stay 11 and well, this will not, we don't need to relax this. Okay. And then from E, there is no more path. So it's just one relaxation. So everything remains the same. 7, C, 3, A, 11, C, and 5, C. These were already selected. And the next minimum is 7C. So the edge for this is B. Okay. 
Now B from B we go relax our way through. Uh, from B we can go to D and C. So B is seven. Seven plus two is nine, and then we go to we go update this. So nine and the parent is B, and then B is B is seven. Seven plus one is eight. So we don't need to update this because three is already lesser, and we can't update this. Remember. Uh, I'll show you the algorithm after this, but whenever a minimum is al already picked, that uh, that I mean, that vertex, that node is never updated again. Like this will never be updated again. This will never be updated again. This will also never be updated. But this one has never been picked. So this will keep on updating. Now, why wouldn't this be updated? Because it's it's being, it's being I mean, enqueued. Because we're using a queue data structure for implementing this. When the minimum is taken, it's always enqueued, popped out. It's always taken out and it can never be used again. So that's why these will never be updated. So 9B and then, uh, well, let me check again. B to D, uh, B, was, uh, B was 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, so 9B, yeah. Okay, so others remain the same. Like I said, these were already picked, so they will never change again. Okay. So, well, these were already picked as a minimum, so we can pick them again. Now, the next minimum is obviously 9, which is D. So, D. Okay, from D, we can go to E, and D was 9. And, well, even if we picked D, we don't need to update these anymore because these were already picked as the lowest, right? I mean, these were already enqueued. So I dequeued. This is the shortest path, actually. This is the final shortest path, and always write down the, uh, the parent, the, uh, the predecessor, or the parents as well, because that's 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 what's gonna determine the check. The algorithm. Now, first we initialize all the sources to uh, all the vertices to zero, and uh, so all the vertices to infinity, like like so. Um, uh, sorry, wait a second. Yeah. So we initialize all the vertices to uh, infinity and the source vertex to zero, and then we insert all the vertices into the queue. And then while the queue is not empty, we keep extracting the min, minimum, minimum vertex. And then if the minimum, uh, like, uh, and then uh, we use a union data structure, disjoint set data, put it in the set, and then after that, for each vertex adjacent to that. To that minimum we just relax keep on relaxing the edges so yeah that's about it for the Dijkstra algorithm uh, and well the uh, this is the data structure uh, so yeah this is the uh, this is the time complexity this is the order of v this is order of v because we're going to tra like, traverse through a loop and then keep on inserting all the edges into the keep on in inserting all the vertices into the queue and then this is done in order of v times as well uh, and then this is done in all order of log b depends upon what data structure you're using for extracting the minimum if you're uh, and then after that if uh, for a relaxing we just do an order of e times because these are done according to the edges and well the running time the overall running time is order of v log b plus e log b equals to e log b like i said it all depends depends upon the data structure you're what data structure you're using if it's a Fibonacci, if it's a Fibonacci heap or a mean heap or whatever else, uh, like extract mean can be done in binary heap and Fibonacci heap and array. If it if an array is used, you just use the the complexity will be order of log b, and if it's binary heap, then it's order of log. Sorry, if an array is is used, then the complexity is order of v, binary heap order of log b, and Fibonacci heap order of log b. So yeah, uh, that's about it for today's uh, lesson. Uh, I'll be coming back again with minimum spanning tree next time. I hope you understood my explanation and please subscribe and give a thumbs up to the video. And uh, well, good luck.